We're here with Bailey Banfield. Bailey, I believe you've got some exciting news to tell the Freo fans. Yeah, I've signed on for another two years, which, yeah, I'm really excited about where this group is going and I'm really excited to be a part of it. You're part of that young core group that's signed to a 2026 or beyond. That must be exciting. Yeah, I think we've got the core group of players at the club that's going to win our first flag, hopefully. Um, I think, yeah, that group's played a lot of footy together now and he's still building and still such a young group, um, which has so much growth. And, yeah, I'm, I really want to be a part of that. This year's just been your third season that you've played over 20 games. Um, how does it sort of feel to get that continuity in your in your, in your your season and just string that many together? Yeah, it's been, it's been really... Um, really positive year I think and, and a step um, forward and I think I've improved a lot of the areas that I've been working on and, and I still feel like there's so much growth in my game as well and areas to keep getting better so really excited for, for what the next couple of years holds. You sort of touched on it there but it's the most disposals you've ever had, it's the most goals you've ever kicked in a season along with marks. Do you feel like this season's been the most impactful you've been able to put put out on the field? Yeah, I think so, because one of those other years as well that you mentioned, I played 20 plus, I think I was sub for 10 or 11 of those. Um, so it's, it's been the most consistent footy I've played in a long time. Um, and to be able to contribute at AFL level and, and get a bit more of that continuity um, has been really positive. And, and to do it in a group as well that um, went went within um, a whisker of playing finals and, and a group that showed that we could match it with the best teams as well um, and our best footy is definitely good enough so to be able to do it in a strong team as well I think was was really pleasing. Your role at the club as well is so much more than just obviously on the field you do a lot of the sustainability work how do you sort of find that space and the enjoyment you get out of that? Yeah it's an area I'm really passionate in for the last three or four years I've been working upstairs at the club as well as the club's sustainability officer um, so just working on how we can improve and reduce our footprint um, and how, how can we communicate as well with our members in a way that's really authentic to us um, around what our sustainability um, efforts have entailed. And so we've done a, a mountain of work in the space and we've measured our carbon footprint. Um, we've put in plans in place to reduce that. Um, we ran a containers for change game last year and hopefully we've got more sustainability um, themed games coming up in the future as well. Um, our partnership with Burley Seacom is really impactful as well. Like every piece of kit that the, that anybody um, in the in the men's program wears is made out of recycled plastic bottles. So I think we've we've um, oh, there's been over a million um, recycled plastic bottles in the last two years alone that have gone into our our playing and and team kit, um, which is really special. And Maddie Scanlon's just hopped on board as well as. Um, a W representative and she's going to be helping helping us in the sustainability space as well, um, which which is really exciting. This year as well on field, you, you played across so many different lines. We spoke to you a bit earlier in the year how that is. What, what was that sort of like playing across all sort of different areas and really finding your role and being able to be a, a proper Mr Fix-It everywhere? Yeah, something I really enjoyed, the different challenge and different things that the game throws at you from different, from different areas, obviously playing high forward um, and, and key is very different to what the looks that you get on the wing and even played down back for three or four games this year, which is a really new experience for me. Um, but just changes the looks that you get, um, gets you involved in the game in a different way um, and really challenges well mentally from a, from a role um, specific of what's required um, with those different roles. Um, so it's something I really, really enjoyed. And sometimes it was off the back of injuries and... Um, you never want to see see teammates go down, but to be able to step up and have the coaches trust me as well with um, to be able to fill those gaps was was really cool. What are the next steps for you in terms in terms of improvement as we look ahead to twenty twenty five and beyond? Uh, I think I can keep improving um, my decision making, my ability with the footy, um, ability to do the basics really well. Um, I think I can keep improving my leadership and on field direction as well, and helping make the game easier for my teammates, that's something I'll re I'm really going to focus on in the pre-season.